So I can tell you that's a little wild story. <laughs> Just saying. Take a good look at me now. Do you still recognize me? But yeah, it's fun, you know. We shot this video with a new director, upcoming guy, Robbie uh, Starbuck. And previously, we'd done all of our music videos with the same guy, so it was kind of nice to get to work with someone different. It was like a lot less pressure for us. And it was pretty professional about getting his own crew together and getting his actors together and everything for that work. Before we had to do a lot of the acting ourselves, or like you know hire people and really tell them what we want. Like it took us you know four months to <laughs> basically plan a music video, and then by the time we shot it, everyone forgot about the song. So yeah, I guess. Does it does it feel any different with this album than it did last album? I know y'all went through all kinds of drama between here and there, and you're you know maybe even better off now than than you was to begin with. Yeah, I think. Um, you know, with this album, we're all pretty happy with it. Like the last album, we, you know, of course we enjoyed and everything. Like you know, they're all songs that we wrote and, and loved, but um, we did it in such a way that you, know, it was split up. Like we'd have to take off. You know, I was working a full time job and everything, so it'd be like, okay, well this week I'm I'm gonna get in the studio and get to drop some bass parts or whatever it is. Yeah. So the album was kind of pieced together over the course of like a year and a half. Whereas this new one, last summer we spent you know three months solid in the studio with like a you know A-list producer and just sat down and knocked about and just studied that all day every day. It was all the music. Um, so I think what we really got out of this was like our first album, Lipstick on the Mirror, was kind of like an outline of what pop evil is, and this new album is starting to kind of shade that in a little bit so we're seeing more of what we really sound like. You know? Yeah, so you took legit three months off, no tour. Yeah. Because you guys are no tour like like mad. Yeah, yeah. Um, the year prior to that, we had like a, a record for... Um, you guys slammed out some shows, dude. Yeah, yeah, we did like 280 or some shit. Yeah, I think we did like two, 284. Uh, or anytime I ever check up on you guys, you're touring. <laughs> that's why it amazes yeah. me that you took three months off. Yeah, that's it. People <laughs> always ask us. I remember that, dude. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Out of like any, at that point in time, any signed band or any unsigned band, we had like more tour dates by like, yeah. like, like 30 or 40 or yeah. something like that a year. It was like 280 shows 280 a year, shows. which is like <laughs> ridiculous. You know? But it's great. I mean, that's what we love to do. We're a touring band. We're not a, you know, we're not a studio band. In the, in the pictures, you can see just how much the crowds. As a non member, I mean, your guys is. Songwriting is great, but their live show is. I think I think your live show is. Just, yeah. it's, it Thanks, is. it's the bread and butter, man. Thanks, buddy. Regard if you like their music or not, it doesn't matter. You oh, can't yeah, deny their live yeah. show. Their presence is insane. What I was getting into you earlier, um, off camera, was uh, that two years ago when he interviewed us uh -huh. for Rock on the Range. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, See, he it was, was after. Him. Him. It was like, I didn't sleep at all the night before. I was up in jail. <laughs> was that like the start of you guys' shows at that time, or was you already torn? Because I remember you had like a DJ come up too, or y'all had a DJ with you. Yeah, we were already touring and shit. You was already touring. It was one of those things remember. where, like, by some miracle or maybe inconvenience, <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we ended up having the day off beforehand. So we went to Rock on the Range and we party and I have my, you know, have a girlfriend out there and shit. <laughs> We didn't have to play until the next day, so we were like, fuck it, we'll go out with all these bands, you know. <laughs> you, got, you got in trouble while you was there, is what you're saying. Yeah, well, you know, we got awesome. all fucked up with, like, corn and uh, we, saliva. We got all fucked up. <laughs> we all got in trouble. <laughs> well, well, it's funny, it's like, <laughs> one of our crew guys got kicked out of a bar for getting a blowjob in the middle of the bar. And he was like, oh, man, that's so awesome. <laughs> And then uh, he went to go tell me the next day, and he's like, where's Matt? And they're like, oh, he's in jail, you know? He's like, oh, fuck, now my story is, you know, lost all his fucking crap. One upper. Matt and the so, one upper. Yeah, one upper. Yeah. Did they just have to bail you out, like, before showtime? Yeah, it was like 2,600 bucks. You yeah, think I would have killed player, somebody. Dude. But, 
That's fun. That's spinal tap right assholes. there, my God. That's <laughs> Dude, get this. The motherfuckers brought me in to do my mug shots, and they know damn well like the bands that are in there for the area and everything. They're like, hey, band guy, come over here. Come over here, band guy. I'm going to do my mug shots. The chick that's in the room. She's sitting on her computer and she's playing fucking pop evil songs. She's already been on the website <laughs> checking it out and shit. So I'm listening to. Okay, turn to your left. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, no, See, that, wow. That's just making fans. Wow. You gotta do what you gotta do to make fans, right? You even gotta go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> that's part of it. But what's funny is, you know, you saw that show, man, and yeah. like, you know, nobody there would have known that I was up all night in a fucking jail cell. Yeah, so no, a hell, I interviewed y'all afterwards. I didn't know nothing about it. Fucking police station to the stadium, changed my clothes, got up on stage, and fucking. Played, they were ready to play without you, they said. Yeah. That's funny, man. I didn't know. I shit. Never had a clue. We got one called Boss's Daughter. We co wrote with Mick Mars on the group. And um, Tony and Lee got to go out to his house in Malibu. Yeah, go hang out in the studio at his house and work on some guitar riffs and stuff like that. Um, there's another one on there we co wrote with like Jack Blades, my ranger. Just some songwriters back right now. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to really get out and try to write with different people for a couple of the songs and stuff, just to see what we, what we came up with. Even if we didn't come up with anything, you know, like we just want to see like what it's like to work with different people and push ourselves in different directions. To see what we can say. What's up, big guys? I don't know where you guys were. I'm guitar. <laughs> we're doing an interview. Oh, you're doing an interview? My bad. Hey man, I'm over here. Walk you on in. can't be in it because you're not in the band. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> We don't. Got, we, really we don't got a pe couple of people. Player. We don't got a couple of people walking down the road in on it. But hey, <laughs> no, I just didn't. A pop a squat. What's your view, man? Tell me a little bit about your your standpoint on the new album. The new album. Yeah, yeah. What's your pitch on it? It's it's um. Jeez, it's, it's one of those things like the first one where we're pretty much part time. I don't know what Matt had said about it. Did he get into that with you guys? Yeah, I'm going to go in a circle here. I'm going to go in a circle. But no, yeah, the first one we're pretty much part time and, you know, all working 40 hours a week just working on it. We put that one out ourselves, you know, originally. And so this one actually, to me, it feels like our first one because we actually lived in Chicago for a few months and actually brought, I think, 30, 40 songs to the table, narrowed it down to 16, narrowed it down to 12. And so, like, if you like the first one, you're going to love this one. I know this room. <laughs> I mean, yeah. was it recorded together at all before the last album? I mean, the, the, the debut album? We just recorded, like, sex tapes. Strictly. That's it. Nothing, nothing, <laughs> That's nothing. true. Speaking of that, I'm going to get a shot here. So. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just video, no, no, just video no audio recordings. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we had Tony in the background doing the audio. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's here, right there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get my rides. <laughs> oh, God, I'm not going. What do you guys want on after this this tour here with the Crossfade? I mean, do you, Black do you, Sun, Black Sun Cherry. Oh, that's right. Y'all do got that coming up. Okay, that's yeah, right. Doing that's a run right. with Black Sun Cherry. And then, uh, probably a lot of headline and stuff, too. And whatever else comes our way, man. We just, we're not going home anytime soon. So, yeah. so just starting on this, this round. Right? Check out our Facebook and everything like that. We always got our tour dates updated on that. Like, Twitter. Twitter. Twitter, audio music. Yep, popular music. Or you can follow me personally on Twitter. You see some nasty pictures of me taking shit <laughs> on Twitter. Right? <laughs> and, and pictures of tampons shit. on pillows. <laughs> 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 That's only for the, the paying customers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a subscription to that. <laughs> my Twitter, not for the week hard. Although well, well, yesterday was a good day. I posted pictures of like, cupcakes and like, shit. I fell in love with them. So yeah, July 5th, <laughs> well, July 1st, early album release. It's as big as my head, dude. Is it over there still? Yeah, kind of melt what about away, you, man? Are you, do you, play, you play another band, right? Look at that fucking cupcake, uh, dude. Get a shot of that. Not, not right. The band's, uh, the band's done. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. And here I am now. We'll promote it a little bit, too. <laughs> I would love the plug. You feel it? there to plug. <laughs> right awesome. now, it's just a butt plug. Is it the, yeah. well, that's the band name? <laughs> no. No, that's weird. There's no, there's cool. no band plug. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> 
There's no anyway, plugs to plug either. Come it's probably come, already come into a city near you. <laughs> if I can get a plug, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> July first. It's a, it's a butt celebration. plug coming to a city near. The Seagate Summer Cell is my extra plug. I want to throw in the early album release date. What is that show? We'll see you in summer celebration July yeah. 1st. July 1st. Awesome, guys. I appreciate that. Albums July 5th. Appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate you talking man. to me, man. It's live. It's really nice. Thank you very much. Take a good look at me now. Do you still recognize me? Am I so different? In yeah. Wait till she can hear mine. There you go. I'll say that one. Others. Others. Digging the old hole there. <laughs>